Thank you, uh, Minister Bryson. The supplementary estimates include uh, $3.8 million that the Privy Council Office spent on engagement and communication about electoral reform. Uh, given that your government has abandoned its oft-repeated promise to make 2015 the last federal election conducted under First Past the Post, uh, would you consider that $3.8 million to be money well spent? money already spent um, and I would consider it uh, I don't think co consultation and uh, engagement uh, is never a waste uh, in fact in fact uh, when you may learn through that that there's not a consensus and it's difficult to see exactly uh, well, the overwhelming forward. majority of respondents but favored a proportional uh, voting system, they, they, and yet your government decided not to move forward with that. They have, they, the reality is that these consultations did not render um, a, a consensus, and you and I may differ in, on, yeah, on we that. Yeah, that, uh, but, but I would really disagree but on that. To, Another but, item but in Mr. the Mr. Weir, uh, to your original point, I want to be very clear. We do not regret as a government consulting Canadians on this, and we will never regret well, except you as a government the consulting Canadians on any issue. We may not always come to a conclusion with a clear path forward, but it will not be for lack of consultation and engagement. We believe that that is, is essential and so, on this and many other files. Course, Mr. Weir, you have seven minutes. Thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, Dupont. It's understandable that the Privy Council Office would have started uh, spending to consult on electoral reform, given that the government was elected on a solemn promise that 2015 would be the last election conducted under the first-past-the-post system. Uh, of course, the government uh, recently announced uh, that it was not going to keep that promise, that there won't be any electoral reform. So I just want to clarify whether uh, the full $3.8 million mentioned in your opening remarks was spent before the government made that announcement. Short answer, Mr. Chair, would be yes. Uh, the, uh, the amounts were, were spent to support uh, town halls, were meant to support the mydemocracy.ca exercise. Uh, to uh, support, um, uh, to of course, to 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 pay for uh, uh, for Vox Pop Labs. So all of those monies were expended. So given that the government revealed uh, after those activities that it had no intention of changing the voting system, uh, would you consider that to have been uh, uh, misspent funds, Mr. Chair? Uh, I think. Expenditures that are, uh, you know, undertaken to consult Canadians on a very serious matter, such as electoral reform, uh, you know, certainly would be uh, considered broadly to be well-spent funds. Then a decision is taken by the political process in a democratic system, and of course, as public servants, uh, we respect uh, that that decision. Well, I think they would be well-spent funds if they were part of a, of, a, of a genuine process. But if at the end of it. Uh, the government just announces it's not actually going to uh, do anything. Uh, is that really something uh, that we should be spending uh, public funds on? Again, Mr. Chair, I, what the monies were uh, uh, able to do was to ensure that there was participation of 2,000 Canadians in town halls across the country, that there was participation of over 360,000 Canadians in an online exercise. Uh, that there were other opportunities for Canadians to express themselves, and uh, then it is for the democratic system to take over in terms of the conclusions to be drawn from the exercise and the decisions to be made. Well, the, the great majority of those Canadian participants that you mentioned indicated a preference for a proportional voting system, uh, yet the government decided uh, not to move forward at all with the new voting system. So uh, can we really conclude that those consultations were a good use of public funds? Interject for a moment, and uh, Mr. Weir, I, I'm listening very carefully to your, uh, your intervention, but you have to realize that uh, the Privy Council Office, of course, uh, supports the efforts of the uh, of the prime minister's office. They are not the ones making political decisions. So I would uh, I would ask you that you try and phrase your questions in a form that will respect the abilities of the PCO, as opposed to uh, uh, the political decision making, which of course goes to a completely different standard. 
Yeah, f f fair enough. And I mean, the PCO is kind of the intersection between the public service and, and the you know political arm of government. So um, you know, it, it, it's kind of on the borderline. Uh, but uh, but but point uh, uh, well taken.